Well, Bouncy, we've done the heavyweights, the middles, the light welters. Why not? Uh, well, why stop? Let's <laughs> we're just talk. going down. I was about to say that's it, isn't it? But no, that's we don't need to stop there. We can talk to the smallest man in boxing, and that is official. Paul Lowe is four foot eight, and he makes his debut when he fights at flyweight. I'm delighted to say he does join us on the line now. Paul, thanks very much. Welcome to the show. You all set then for tomorrow night? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it now. It's going to be exciting. It's um, obviously my debut. You know, there's a a little bit of pressure on me to perform well because, you know, first time out. But, yeah, can't wait now. Paul, has there been a little bit of pressure on you on account of your height? You know, people putting you in the new... Yeah, fantastic piece. Steve Lillis did a brilliant piece in the Daily Star the other day. You find a little bit of pressure there as well? Well, people have been saying that to me, but to be honest, I'm not trying to think of it. You know, the reason why they put me in the papers and I'm doing lots of press is, in a way, I'm a bit of a novelty to boxing because of my size. Sure. No one knows my boxing ability. No one's really seen me, so... There's not much pressure on me performing and looking amazing because no one sees me. I've, in myself, I've just got to go out, do what I know I can do and try and perform and then not try and let all this, the bit of TV stuff we're doing in the papers and that, not let that get to me. But at the same time, that's quite good because it does build your profile. Now, look, look, Paul, Paul your, your, your thing is you're a stunt man. You work as a stunt, as a stunt double or in yeah. films. Tell us about some of the big films you've worked on. Um, I've been doing some stuff for seven years and I've, Done films like, you know, Batman Begins, um, Batman the Dark Knight, Legend of Zorro, Son of Rambo. And obviously because of my size, me being little, I double kids in films, you know, oh, girls and boys. I've, I've been dressed up in skates with little bum wigs. Um, I do all sorts of me. So, yeah, it's just it's What's quite What's the dangerous from... stunt you've done, Paul? Pardon? What's the most dangerous stunt that you've done in one of those films? Um... I had to get thrown off a cliff in one film. There's like 45 foot off a cliff. What, into, 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 into a box or into the sea? No, into water. It was like, um, we had to, it was like a big cliff and then there was a mechanism that threw me off and I landed in the water. But I've, I've jumped horses off trains, I've been knocked over, there's you know, all sorts. So how did you get into that seven or so years ago, Paul, if you don't mind me asking, mate? I fell into it, boom boom. <laughs> I mean, did, did someone once see you, obviously, realise you're a bit fearless and think you could double up as a child, as a child uh, stunt person? It, what it was, I'm an actor and I've been doing shows and stuff for, since I was, like, young. Yeah. And there was an audition that came up um, to be the stuntable on a film called The Mummy Returns. Okay. And I went and done that and I, I became the, the boy stuntable in that and everyone was saying, listen, because your size, you're perfect, you're with kids, you should try and do it. Sure. So I went away, done my training and then it carried on from there, really. So getting back to the boxing, Paul, I mean, uh, obviously at four foot, is it four foot eight or four foot seven? What are you? Four foot eight. Now Don't four, forget that extra uh, inch. Exactly, yeah, so yeah, an yeah. inch means a lot. Now, let me ask you this, Paul. Um, when you spar with boxers, at, at what height uh, can you just no longer compete? You know, once they get to five, 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 six, five, seven, or can you compete as, you know, is there a limit on how tall the opponent can be, in your opinion? Well, to be honest, my, my style of fighting, you know, I don't, I, I can't stand off and try and keep them long because I'm, I'm tiny. My style of fighting is being aggressive and getting in. So, you know, I've been sparring, like Gary Davis is one of my friends. He's a new uh, British band and champion. Yeah. I've been sparring Gary Davis for this, and I think Gary Davis is five, six, five, seven. And no problem? Well, I wouldn't say no problem. He's yeah, very I'm good, sure. but, you know, I'm doing sure. well, and I'm yeah. sort of getting involved and getting stuck in. But, you know, it, I suppose once you get past, like, five, seven, five, eight, it'll become more awkward. But then I've got to be clever and wave the body and come over the top of the head and... Yeah, I mean, we're, and, and Frank Maloney's going to be importing people from all over to fight you, no doubt. It'll be nice, yeah, we spoke about it, and fingers crossed all going well, I do the business. Um, yeah, we could have people coming over, and there's lots of, there's lots of small people around, yeah. um, but just not in this country. Oh, well, let's you know, let's, let's get them over, here. let's get them in gloves. Paul, it's been a pleasure talking to you, good luck tomorrow, we'll speak soon. Yeah, good Thank luck, you very much, Thanks, Thank you very much. So, if you say, Steve, four for eight, not really your usual fighter, is he? In fact... No, he's not, but... Uh, but you know what? You see him shape up there. Oh, I love this. We can this. see him line up with some other usual suspects. Oh. Mini me at the bottom there. Look at the size of the big lump at the top. Value F. <laughs> you know what about Value F though? He's hard to beat. Shagayev barely beat him last time, and I think that's going to be a great fight. It's not going to be an explosive fight. They're not explosive fights. I think it's going to be a much better heavyweight fight than their first fight, which wasn't great. And that's on Saturday. And I think it's going to be much better than that. Just a couple of emails before we go, Sean.